everyone, it's me, Gregabytes, and I've basically been playing through a mod pack that I built just from selected mods that I've played over the past couple of years for Minecraft 1.18. So what I wanted to show is how you can basically go get CurseForge, create a custom profile, and select the mods that you want to play with. Maybe it's some of the mods I've been demonstrating in my videos. Maybe it's something different. So I just want to show you how to do that. Go to a browser and you type in CurseForge. Hit enter. It's going to take you to CurseForge. Now that we're on the CurseForge page, you just click on CurseForge app and then it will take you to a download screen. And you can see you can either download this for Windows or you can download it for Mac OS. So in my case, I'm just going to click download for Windows. And then once you've done that, you can see it doesn't take very long. You can just click this and then click show in folder. And then you can see there it is. So you just double click on this installer and it'll start to install CurseForge on your computer. I'm not going to walk through that process, but it's pretty straightforward. I do tend to give mine a drive letter other than C because my NVMe drive on my, for my C drive is pretty small. All I've really done here is create a custom profile, which you do by clicking on this. I gave it a name. And in this case, I'll just call it V2. So once you've given your custom profile a name, then you can just pick the version of Minecraft that you want to play. In my case, I wanted to play on literally the latest version, which is here. Um, you can scroll down and pick an older version. 1.16.5 um, is a very popular one. There's a lot of mods available for that. Better Minecraft uses that version. In this case, again, I'm going to pick 1.18 and then I'm going to use Forge because those are the mods that I prefer. Fabric has some very amazing mods and there is some differences. Fabric, from what I understand, the architecture is different. And so they can actually deliver fabric modifications quicker than they can forge modifications. But I will say 1.18.1, there are quite a few forge modifications that are ready for the, the newest version of the product. Again, I prefer forge because those are the mods that I'm familiar with, the ones that I'm interested in learning. And then for the forge version, I usually just leave that at the default and then click create. But you can see what will end up being here is just a generic version of 1.18 Minecraft. So now once it's here, you can just open this. And then you can see there's really no mods installed by default. What you can do is just click add more content. And then what you'll see is the versions of the mods that are available for 1.18.1. And even since the time that I've created mine, which is literally a couple of weeks ago, there are a few that are listed here that were not listed here when I created mine. Okay, so this is the pack that I've been playing. And so there's several mods. I'm not going to walk through every one of these mods right now. I want to do it more like when I'm in game and playing, but I thought I would just touch base on a couple of things here. One thing to note right away is you can see these are the mods that I added, like I was showing earlier, just by clicking add more content and then click install. Um, if you didn't like one of the mods or maybe it causes your computer to lag, you can just click this little trash can and it'll get rid of it. And then another thing to notice is this little update icon. If you install a mod and then they do update it, which they do from time to time as they're trying to keep up with the latest version of Minecraft, you can just click this and it'll actually update in your, um, in your pack. So a couple of the things that I've touched on in my video, but I'm going to have to explore a little more, just enough items. That is the interface over there to the right that has all the blocks kind of displayed. It lets you search for things. It's really nice, really powerful. Alex's mobs, obviously, that's where our friend the bear came from. Very nice, it adds bugs and various mobs. It's really kind of neat. It just get, makes it very much more immersive and fun to play. Um, ambient environment, I like this one because it adds sounds, wind sounds, water sounds, bug sounds, animal sounds, stuff like that. Applied Energistics 2 is another more advanced mod. It has a lot of capabilities and stuff to explore. Um, aquaculture, various fish, it introduces new kinds of fish. Better advancements is also kind of nice. Citadel, I believe some of these are actually libraries that you get when you install the, the mod themselves. I believe Citadel is a library, so it's not actually one you would select. But keep that in mind. Some of these are behind the scenes, like Cucumber Library. You won't actually select that and add it to the pack. You'll automatically get it added whenever you pick the mod that happens to use that library. So you may not see a one-for-one -one list when you're trying to add those mods. You just have to use keep that in mind. Create is a really cool mod. Again, a little deeper, requires a little more time. 
and it definitely has some advanced capabilities that you can explore once you once you get your world going. Cyclic is the same way. Definitely more advanced mod. D dungeon crawl is pretty much as like it sounds. It adds dungeons that you can crawl around in. Fruit trees is a pretty simple one. It's nice. It just adds the ability for oak trees to produce fruit. Guard villagers, again, harvest is nice. You can just, it gives the advantage of right clicking on a, a crop and it will harvest the crop and it'll replant the crop automatically. So just a very simple quality of life kind of functionality. But that's basically what the harvest mod does. Jade is nice. It basically has like a bubble or a box above mobs and blocks and tells you what they are, if they're, if they're harvestable or not. Um, just a little bit of information about them. So I really like Jade. Um, light overlay is also nice. If you hit F7, it'll show you where spawnable blocks are in your world. One of the main reasons I wanted to play 1.18 is it has the new light update, so mobs should only spawn at level zero. But even still, this light overlay will help you identify where those blocks are. Mouse tweaks is nice, again, just some simple things. Mystical agriculture, a definitely a more, more advanced mod and has a, um, a lot of things in it that I have yet to explore. Refined storage is nice. It's a, definitely a little more complicated. Another one that I added here is called Simple Storage Network. I like that one to kind of start with early game and then refine storage. I like to use that later game. Repurpose structures is exactly that. It's just some of the structures in the game have been modified and enhanced a little bit, but not too terribly much. Silent gear and silent gems. We talked a little bit about that in the first video. There's that simple storage network. I really like that. You just connect chests together with pipes and you have a single interface where you can access everything. Simple backpacks and sophisticated backpacks. I added both of those. I definitely like sophisticated backpacks better. They're all pretty simple. Leather and string to get you started. Pretty early game things. Soaring structures is the one that has the floating islands in it, um, which again is nice because the blocks underneath the structure have some diamond ore and some iron ore. Trash slot is a very simple one. Um, again, it gives you a trash can. So if you're carrying a bunch of stuff around and you want to throw it on the ground, but you happen to have a silent gear pickaxe in your hand with an iron handle that's metallic or mag magnetic, you can just throw something in the trash slot so the things don't float around your head while you're trying to run away. Tree harvester is the one we talked about a little bit. You just hold shift while you're chopping a tree down and the whole tree falls down. Again, very simple. Um, Valhalla structures is more buildings to explore. Vein mining, I believe, adds an enchantment that you can apply to your tools so that you can basically break one piece of cobblestone and it'll break a bunch. I haven't got to that point yet. Waystones is nice because, again, you can put a waystone down, name it, and then you can teleport between waystones and kind of bounce around in your world. And then, of course, the maps. I've stretched CurseForge out a little bit because there's an ad that plays and I just don't want it in my video. So your screen might not look exactly like this. So if I wanted to see what else I could add to my pack or to your pack, this is how you explore what you want to see. Add more content. So this not only shows you what is out there that needs to be updated, what that you already have installed, but also what you don't have installed that will match your version of Minecraft that you picked for this custom profile. So if I'm scrolling through here, like I want to update JEI, so I'm going to click update and I'm going to let that get started while I continue to scroll down. Um, so you can see Apple Skin is a very popular popular one. It adds some useful information about food and hunger to the HUD. I don't like to mess with core Minecraft too terribly much. I kind of like the base game like it is. Clumps is one that clumps up experience together before it comes into your body. Um, 65 million downloads, it's pretty safe to add that. So you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and add that. Controlling is another one. It's actually nice. 80 million downloads. What this does is it lets you search for key bindings as you're trying to find conflicts when you're looking at your own config. And when you're building a custom pack like this, there are some conflicts in your control. So this might be nice because it just gives you even a little more um, capabilities to explore and find um, the key bindings that are in your version of Minecraft. So I'm going to install that one too real quick. And it says update already. That's weird. I'm going to keep going. You can see waystones I already have installed. Storage drawers is kind of nice. I don't ever use them too terribly much because I prefer to just use simple storage network and just dump everything into a bunch of chests. So if you really wanted to like 
set these up and know exactly where everything was, you could do that. I prefer a simple storage network for storage solution. Like Mr. Crayfish's um, furniture mod can be fun. But again, I'm not really going to be spending a ton of time making furniture. I'm going to be exploring and running around. And so I'm not going to install this one either. Cooking for blockheads can be fun. Again, not terribly interested in that. If I have food and I can stay alive, that's all I really care about. Immersive engineering is very cool. Now, that one is also very popular, almost 80 million downloads. It is definitely a more advanced mod that I have scratched the surface of barely. But you know what? I'm going to add it. It adds some structures. It adds some crafting capabilities. It adds quite a few things. And actually, actually you can see it adds different kinds of energy, different kinds of processing and machinery, technology, cosmetic things, as well as fluid and energy and transport. So I think immersive engineering has its own storage system in it, but we added it anyway. The One Probe is another mod like Jade. It basically, as you can see, you can see what's in a chest, it has information that pops up about a mod or even blocks, and even chests, but I've already got Jade installed. So I'm not gonna install the One Pro, but I will say I have used this in the past and I really like it. Mine Colonies is another mod that has some really cool things in it. You can basically hire um, people to build things for you and you can build a pretty nice looking city. I'd like to play with that, but not currently. It's definitely fun and there's definitely a lot to learn. Um, but it's kind of like its own thing in and of itself. Like you could create a profile with only mine colonies just to learn that mod. That might be the best approach. Um, but as you can see, there's a ton of mods now that are available for 1.18. More villagers, expandability, um, just a ton of things out here that you could add. But I'm not, I'm not going to add all that. I really just want to focus on the ones that I have in the list and learn them. And then later on, if I end up playing a pack that has some of these other things, I can learn them too later. So here's one, Better Animals Plus. Now I've got Alex's mobs installed, and so I hate to add this one to the mix because I don't want anything to clash into each other. And since I'm just adding a couple mods to a pack, I don't want to risk breaking it and having it not work well. So I'm not going to add this. I'd like to, but I don't want to admit, I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so here's a mod that I think is kind of fun. I'm not going to add it, but I do like the idea. Colossal chests. The idea is you can make chest huge, very huge. Cute idea. I'm not going to use that. I'd rather just use simple storage. And there are definitely a ton of things you can do with, with these Mr. Crayfish's gun mod. Again, I like the idea. Minecraft to me is a platform that you can then build on and customize, which I think is exactly what these mods do, which is why I'm interested in playing this more than vanilla right now. But I don't want to turn it into something completely foreign to me at the same time. This may be fun to play with, but I probably wouldn't want to make this how I play Minecraft forever. But it's very cool. As you can see, the list is really, really long. I'm not going to keep going through this, but what I will show you is the mods that I have installed again on my pack, just so you can take a screenshot or pause the video and then take a look and build your own. Green number three. Screen number four. Screen number five. So that's basically the mods that I picked. Now, I got to go play this and make sure that I didn't break it by adding a couple new mods. So more on that in the next video. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time.